he had been pleading for help because of his mental health. He had said that he could take no more, that he was exhausted. Our understanding is, is that he was pleading to be returned to Sudan because he could take no more in the hotel because they, the food they were feeding them was monotonous day in, day out. It was given out in set times. He was talking about being very hungry and he was saying that if he had to get out, he'd been left 20 days on his own in isolation in the hotel with a brick wall for a view, is what we've been told. And that was because he was suspected of having COVID-19 symptoms. And by the end of it, or in the middle of it, whatever, um, he was saying that he could take no more and he, he wanted to hit somebody. And 11 o'clock the night before, our understanding is, is that other asylum seekers have told us that they went downstairs to the reception and said that this man has severe mental health problems. He needs help. Somebody needs to speak to them, speak to him. And they didn't. Um, I, uh, that was 11 o'clock the night before. I understand the next day that his lawyer spoke to him and then a few minutes later, uh, the attack took place and one police officer and six people were injured, including unaccompanied asylum seeking children. Um, you have to remember the people in there are very vulnerable. They do have mental health problems. They are vulnerable people. And Mears is not dealing with, uh, it's a big company, a multinational company. It's not dealing with um, asylum uh, Amazon parcels. You're dealing with human beings who are vulnerable and therefore you have to deal with them in a sensitive manner, not uproot them en masse out of their homes and dump them in hotels and tell them to stay there 24 seven in their rooms. The rooms are not cleaned every day. They, they had no access to water. That was another thing that people were saying. The other thing is, is that they, were, they had a problem with breathing. The, the, the problem was that the windows don't open and especially with coronavirus, um, the whole issue of dirty air conditioning, which can transmit viruses, people were terrified of breathing. And um, being in a room 24-7, being told you're only allowed to go out for half an hour for a walk and then have to either get that same food at these set hours and then return to your room, be on your own, no contact with charities or faith groups or lawyers or anything because there's a lockdown going on. And what you have is a situation which is uh, basically a, a tinderbox waiting just to be lit.